After a period of long suffering for the Europeans, civilization came to rise. This was a period in which people started believing in humanism and human potential. New artists started developing new works of art that focused on what they could do. German life was one of the most influential Northern Renaissance artists. Little is known about his early life, and neither his birth or, or the day when he was born. He was from Netherlands and is believed to have been to have one sister and at least two brothers, which he worked in many of his works of art. The first existing record of him was between 1422 and 1424 in the court of John of Bavaria, where payments were made to him for his artworks. In 1421, he started working for John of Bavaria when he became a master painter. When John of Bavaria died, he started working for the Duke of Burgundy and worked until he died because he was treated very good and paid fairly because the Duke feared that if someone took him, he would never find someone so talented. He died in Berg in 1441 and was buried in the church of St. Domitian. This is believed to have been his self-portrait, but it could simply be a portrait of a man. It is called Man in a Turban and was finished in 1433. Jan van Eyck worked with oil-based paints. He is believed to have been the first person to perfection its use. It worked for him because he dried slowly, allowing him to perfect details and create textures. He could also make jewel-like colors. This is arguably his most famous painting. It is called the Arnfolini Wedding Portrait, and it is made out of oil and cano. It is located in the National Gallery in London. It is a painting of a man and a woman standing in a room in front of a bed. The man is believed to have been the traditional Italian merchant. This painting is full of significance. People think that it is a private wedding ceremony, but it is not confirmed. There are many clues that are in the drawing that we can no, the chandelier has one lit candle that could signify the unity of marriage. Also, the man is holding the girl's hand with his left hand, which could mean that they are making a note. The removed shoes could represent sanity. The dog could be only a pet, but it could represent fidelity, and its rare breed could signify that the couple is very well. This mirror in here, um, you can see the couple and then two other people that are witnesses. In the, the two people, there is also Jean Van Eyck, and this crystal beads represents the health of a woman in childbirth because the woman in the painting died one year before the painting was made, giving birth to a child, and in these letters it says Jean Van Eyck was here, 1434. Another famous painting it was the Ghent's altarpiece that was finished in 1432. It was the most significant, it is one of the most significant works of art in Europe and it is known as to be a treasure for the world. People think that this is the most stolen work of art because it has been stolen many times and also it has been destroyed, but after World War II it was totally recreated. Um, this work was originally assigned to his brother, Hubert Van Eyck, but he died. Um, after making like the design, so Jean Van Eyck was the one who painted uh, all the panels. It is also known as the adoration of the mystic lamp. This is how you can see it closed and open. It is like this. It has 12 panels and each one represents its own thing. Um, in here we can see a panel depicting a lamp on an altar. Um, and it could represent Christ, the lamp because Christ referred to himself as the Lamb of God, and he is dripping his blood, and so he's being like sacrificed, and the blood is turning into water and going to the fountain of eternal life. It represents how Christ, um, how Christ sacrificed for mankind. And another famous painting is the Annunciation that was finished in 1436. It is in the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. He started working on it in 1434 and finished it in 1436. Um, it is of how Gabriel announces to Mary that she will give birth to the Son of God, and this is Gabriel and Mary. And in here, um, Mary responds to him, Behold the handmaiden of the Lord, 
and the letters are written upside down so that God can see them from above. The Luca Madonna, it was finished in 1436 and it is in the Seidel Museum in Frankfurt. It is the painting of Madonna with a child. It is called the Luca Madonna because it originally belonged to the Duke of an Italian city of Luca. It is Mary is on a throne. That, and the lions that are on the throne are a reference to King Solomon, one of Jesus' precedents. This painting is also famous because it has linear perspective. So if um, the, the spectator feels like he is in the same room as um, her. And also we can see here these two oranges that are a sign of wealth and they were also in the painting that are for the wedding party. The importance of his work. Jan van Eyck marked the Renaissance strongly with, because of all his paintings. He developed the oil-based painting to was the first person to perfection the use. His artworks have so much detail in them that we can analyze and see history and tell a story with each, with each one of them. People say that he had eyes like a microscope and a telescope at the same time because of all the details that were in his artworks. The amount of details in all his pieces make it a work of art, but the amount of significance makes them a masterpiece. Thank you.